Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, December 17th, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Well, yesterday the U.S. Federal Reserve increased the interest rate for the first time in nine years. The sky did not fall in. In fact, quite the opposite. Equity markets in the United States, starting there, went up immediately. The Dow Jones Industrial Average went up 224 points. It's already up about 55 points in trading, uh, pre-trading this morning. Uh, meanwhile, Asian indexes jumped significantly, as are the European indexes uh, currently still up. Uh, the U.S. increased its interest rate by 25 basis points. It comes uh, in a strong signal to the market that the American financial authorities believe that the largest economy in the world is on a strong path to a secure recovery and thus interest rates can increase. This apparently has had a very reassuring effect in global equity markets. Meanwhile, PricewaterhouseCoopers is coming out with some very sobering news for the London insurance and reinsurance markets. They're telling them that uh, those markets are facing further, quote, significant price declines in premium, and that about one in four carriers may be forced to rely on their investment returns to make a profit, which is not good news, because even with interest rate increases of 25 basis points, investment returns are very squeezed, to put it mildly. This is the latest negative outlook for the insurance and reinsurance sector in 2016. The general expectation now is that it's going to be another down year. PwC's research showed that a number of London market players are expecting further price pressure, price pressure of greater than 10% across all lines. However, despite this expectation, the consultant believes that executives are not reflecting this in their planned combined ratios for 2016 because they're influenced by recent market profitability and the desire to avoid plans which imply a strategy of cash flow underwriting. Translation, they do not want to expose any hint whatsoever of a lack of underwriting discipline. How this is going to work out is anybody's guess, but unless premiums rise or investment returns rise and rise quickly, it could be a very bad year. Meanwhile, people who were having a bad year are some of the hedge fund reinsurers, specifically Greenlight Re and Third Point Re. Bearish investors have piled on bets against uh, a reinsurer started by hedge fund manager David Einhorn. The company's losses have climbed. Uh, Einhorn uh, set the company up uh, several years ago as a means to attract more business to his overall hedge fund. Uh, the difficulty, of course, is, is that if premium prices for reinsurance policies that Greenlight and Third Point, set up by uh, Daniel Lober, uh, are actually decreasing, and the stock market returns of the overall hedge fund, which owns the company, are decreasing, it's very difficult for the overall entity to make a profit. And that's exactly what seems to have been happening. John Berger, who's a very well-respected industry uh, executive in the reinsurance sector, who's also the CEO of Third Point, said, I think there is just going to be a relentless pressure now almost everywhere on the margins. He said Third Point Re's LLC, the uh, hedge fund, has a fantastic track record over a more than 20-year history, but even they are not immune to broader market movements. It does not help when the reinsurance entity simply just cannot obtain the kind of return that it needs because of the plummet in prices. Here's interesting news. The uh, largest carrier, airline carrier in Asia by number of passengers, China Southern Airlines, has ordered 110 planes from Boeing aircraft. It's about a $10 billion order. Uh, the Guangzhou-based carrier is going to buy uh, a total of uh, 80 Boeing 737-800 series planes uh, valued at about uh, $7.24 billion. And they're also buying 30 737 MAX uh, extended range planes for almost another $3 billion. Boeing said that China Southern's commitment is a solid endorsement of the popularity of the next generation 737 and 737 MAX. There was a sinking of a uh, tanker, actually it was a uh, cargo carrier, off the coast of Indonesia this morning. The chemical product tanker Stolt Commitment collided with the general cargo ship Thorco Cloud about seven miles off Batam Island in Indonesia. Ships were on crossing routes in the Singapore Strait. They collided. The Thorco Cloud went down. Uh, local authorities have dispatched rescue boats searching for the 12 crew members from the Thorco Cloud. They have found six of them. 
They have radioed to uh, ships in the area to be on the lookout for the other six. They have not yet been found. The Thorco Cloud was operated by the German company Ekhof Riederay. The ship was en route from uh, Indonesia to Durban, South Africa. The Insurance Council of Australia just about an hour ago declared a catastrophe after severe storms battered New South Wales, specifically Sydney, yesterday. About 9.30 a.m. this morning, insurers had already received about 1,000 claims with losses uh, at about 6 million U.S. The storms brought wind speeds in excess of 120 miles per hour, along with very heavy rains and hail, resulting to damage to homes, businesses, cars, and infrastructure. Could you imagine what a storm of that impact would have on Chicago or Miami or New York? Sydney is a pretty big town and it caused havoc there for sure. A terrible event occurred at the Mumbai International Airport yesterday. Um, a technician was apparently sucked into a jet engine of an Air India plane. The pilot and co-pilot of the plane had been grounded. The chairman of uh, Air India rushed to the Mumbai airport for an on-the-spot inquiry. He announced an immediate uh, cash payment to the family of the uh, deceased engineer and also offered a job to a family member of the engineer. Um, he refused to go into details of what could have happened, but he did say that obviously there was some sort of a communication gap. Uh, what is known is that uh, during the airplane's pushback, uh, the co-pilot of the flight, which was bound from Mumbai to Hyderabad, mistook a signal for starting the engine. And the victim, uh, Rabbi Subra, Subramanian, who was standing close to the engine, got sucked into it. The aircraft, an aircraft parked in a uh, bay cannot reverse on its own. It has to be uh, pushed out by a tow vehicle. It was during the pushback that the jet engine of the plane uh, revved up and it pulled into it the uh, technician. His body, of course, was so mutilated it could not even be sent for a post-mortem examination. It's a terrible event. And when it happens, you wonder why it doesn't happen more frequently. Those ground crew are all around underneath the engines of those planes on pushbacks. President Putin of Russia held his annual three-hour press conference uh, earlier today. When one wonders uh, how he manages to avoid enduring that without having to use the restroom, but he does it. Uh, 1,400 journalists jostled into the uh, arena where he was speaking. He answers questions sometimes in monologues as long as 10 and 12 minutes, making follow-ups very difficult to, to, to make. He also said that he thought he could work well with Donald Trump should he end up being the next president. And Mr. Putin said that unquestionably Mr. Trump is the leader in the presidential race right now. He also had some other things to say, not particularly newsworthy, but he did say that uh, he thinks that the Americans and the Russians are on the same side in Syria. I don't know about that. If we have any other breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.